Thank you for taking the time to click that button. Now that you're here, welcome to the channel. This video is going to be a little different compared to all the other previous videos that I've been posting on this channel. Well, not all so much. It is still going to be a car video, uh, but nothing new. So here's a small background story on why I decided to get the FRS as a first car for myself. Three years ago, well, four now, I'm still writing 2018 on everything. In 2015, I decided to pick up a 2013 Scion FRS. Uh, in Raven Black. I have a friend who works at a Toyota, so he actually managed to find this really amazing deal on this barely used, lady-driven Raven Black Scion FRS. There was only like 13,000 clicks on this thing, but it was pretty much brand new and completely stock. Now, I was looking to get an automatic, because actually that's what it was advertised as, was this automatic Scion FRS, and me, back then, shouldn't even really be saying this, but I considered myself a really lazy driver where I'd be driving with one hand and eating with this hand or just doing whatever, right? When we got to the dealership and they showed us the car in the showroom, saw that it was manual and I was just like, dude, I don't know how to drive manual. So I knew my dad knew how to drive manual and I just simply asked him, hey, if I end up getting this car, can you just teach me? And he did. And then after he taught me for like the first few days, really late in the evenings when there's no cars on the streets, I would bring out the FRS and just practice by myself. So if I ever stalled in the middle of the road, no one could judge. So to make a long story short, I saved up my own money. My little sister recently just got her license. My brother already had his license, so three of us kin were sharing this one Honda Civic, which was a second family car. And everyone had their own errands, so obviously this was not gonna work. So that's why I ended up getting my own car. Fast forward, like three years later, I really didn't see myself getting this deep into the car game. But after I bought that Scion FRS, everything changed. It just introduced me to this whole new culture that I barely knew nothing about. Actually, my friend Eddie, who's the one that introduced me to the FRS, the year before that, we actually took the time to test out and test drive one of the 2000, the earliest 2013 Scion FRSs that had like a carbon panel on the front. This is one of the earlier models and uh, it was lava orange. And then fast forward a year later, I end up getting the car, but I really didn't see myself getting this deep into the car game. Before I knew anything about it, like I was getting mad at my friends for spending 800 bucks on an exhaust. And now look at me. So I really had no intention of getting the Scion FRS, but at the end of the day, I feel like the car chose me. There's just so many things that I have to thank that car for and it's just, it's much more than just something that I drive from A to B now. It's kind of hard to explain when everyone else in this world looks at buying a car as depreciating piece of commoditized good. But when it comes down to it, it's, it, it's a lifestyle, you know? And anyone who is into the car culture and this car scene knows how valuable and how community inclusive this thing is, you know, and it, it just brings everyone together and the fact that there's so many YouTubers and vloggers out there that are into filming their automotive lifestyles gets everybody else involved and interested and that's how you meet people, you know, you just, you share the same interests and everyone clicks, it's cool. So now let's get to the video. This is just going to be a rewind, just a culmination of the past three years of me building this car and the relationships and friendships that I've made throughout this journey thus far. Basically the past three years of this channel, so enjoy. Hello! I got a couple of packages in, came up to the doorstep and there were boxes left there. Things I was waiting for. I've kind of limited myself to what I'm spending on car parts. Because as a beginner, I believe in going low budget. Performance wise, I'll wait on that stuff. I'm actually debating on whether or not to keep it in for the winter. So this is a front lip. Again, visual purposes. This is the before. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, you guys have a good night. Yeah, you too. So yeah, uh, thank you to your uh, mom for the offer. My mom offered them spaghetti. So that's it. You start. It's really hard to see anything. Hey guys, so we off to see the lizard. Just 
got my nurse belt spoiler in and I bought it used so you can see that it is actually in white. Black is probably the easiest color to match. And this bad boy is going on that bad boy. Obviously, it's going to be drilled in, so I am going to be taking it. This is going to be the last time you guys will ever see it without a spoiler. Or there she is. So we added the side skirts, rear aprons, and the spoiler. Damn, it looks badass. Here's what my car looks like, so JDM, bro. Green tape to mask off some of the body parts. That's why the car looks like this. Some Pellegrino, guava drink. My mom's been on a spring roll. the Red River Heights Park Middle What'd you get? What'd you get? Gross, you guys are gross. You guys got both the same thing. That's so lame. Entertainment when we were kids. Boss, come here. You come to join shenanigans? Such a good puppy. Good job. I know it's like 10 bucks, but you get enough, right? Alright, I think it's time. We're gonna install it. We're gonna try. Love and I talk about me. Mom talk about God. Friends talk about weed. Wrote this shit on a plane last year. Sitting next to the window seat, man. Look at my shrug. Look at my face. Look at my trust. Look at your face. Troublesome news. I can't drive this thing, man. I'm stuck. So I have to call roadside assistance. Go pay my fees. Go pay my dues. Isn't that the same thing? I thought this was it. Look what they've done. When you go in, Long story short, I prematurely wore out the clutch and I have to replace it. Drive the hell out of your car and when a part needs to be replaced, just upgrade. I have to treat this thing so much better. All broken hearted. Got a hoist. That's insane, man. Investing. Yeah, that's freaking sick, dude. What up, bro? Not much, man. Just a little crunch time before driven, so. Yeah, no She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down 75 degrees in a dope sound All you need to live fine, to live fine A little sunshine cause she need it A dose of rainfall in the evening The waves crash down and we feel them Two fronts, front, front, rears. All right, guys, we're out. We'll see you Take soon. Take care, yet. guys. Okay. Yeah, to go on an adventure. The waves crash down and we feel them. Say here's to the nights right now. It's gonna take like another three hours for us to get to Vancouver. I think that sleep was what we needed at that hotel. So good call, Simon. Yeah.
This is my GoPro foolproof plan. We don't mind, we don't mind. Grandma Derps, always working. Everyone has their own hobbies. And we actually had some of the fresh bok choy last night. So good. Another day in paradise. Ew. I'll be gone to November. Ew. Going through the letters that I send her. And thinking about the moment that I met her. Well, I'll be back in due time, in due time. Touched out though, off my own two shoes. Ew. Still the same city I've been used to. Welcome to the back alley meet. Take a little more if you need it Voices of the night won't mislead it The tide pulls me in but it takes slow Here's to the nights we let go And I'm hoping that they figure out It's all about the scenery along the route No fears and no problems These moments are so kind, are so kind Bad luck on the way home. So this part actually broke off. I hit the side skirt. This part and this was flailing on the highway, so I had to pull over. And I hope this holds and I'm just glad it isn't painted yet. So hopefully it's an easy fix. Damn bro, brand new. Let's check the other side. Holy f that one completely broke off. Okay, these are useless, yo. That sucks. There it is. My ratchet backer. Good old golden BC. This is where I got my ticket, actually. So I'm gonna watch my speed. Guys, not good. Well, I can't believe that just happened. Golden BC. Uh, tinted windows and unauthorized auxiliary driving lamps. Apparently, I'm only supposed to have a maximum of four lights in the front of my car. But I have eight or so, according to the cop. Dude, my... Heart. I saw this white unmarked vehicle following me, make me speed up. That's pretty much entrapment. And I was like, nope, I'm not doing it. This is exactly where I got caught last time. And I guess the cop was kind of understanding. All I got away with. Tinted windows, unauthorized auxiliary driving lamp. Why did I have to get so technical? 
But if you want to go the extra mile, you can wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol or I saw pur -pur -pur -pur. Open the vinyl wrap, check it out. And while I'm doing that, I think I'm just gonna continue folding clothes. We got Eddie in the back. In this whole world, what's fair? We walk by, we try to see you Falling behind, what could be? Bring me a higher love Bring me a higher love Bring me a higher love Earth is This uh, dudes. So this is from Sion themselves, and shoutouts to Lisa for contacting me about this and giving me the chance to be featured in the Sion magazine. Ironically, this is called the future issue. That's what the front looks like, like a full photo. So Lisa, who is the Sion editor for this magazine, interviewed me and I sent her a couple of my photos to put into the issue. Yeah, you so cool. Beautiful. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Yo, what up, guys? So this is my new home away from home. Consider this Lost Royalty Garage Phase 1. We have my AGs. <laughs> too much, bro. Oh, oh, hey. Those are white too. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, you're kind of like camera gang now. Jesus. Be able to talk to you. Today is the day that we are finally handed the keys to the commercial bay. So let's get it. Welcome. It's a start. Photoshop an image of what I want my FRS to look like. Here it is. Photoshop version of my car. This side is 100% complete. No, that's what these splitter rods are for, man. Thirty days, man. Felt like I was missing a part of it. Appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Home free. It feels good. We did it, guys.
now looking back on it, all the experiences that this thing has put me through, good and bad, I just never knew what building that thing would give me in return. Now, before I end this video, I do have one announcement to make. In a couple of days, me and my buddies, just a, a few of the Lost Royalty members, are going to be heading to Japan. So the reason why we're going back to Japan is mainly for Tokyo Auto Salon. And uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with this, this is probably one of the bigger, most prestigious car events uh, that takes place in the beginning of the year in Japan. Tokyo Auto Salon is basically where they showcase uh, any new automotive paraphernalia that's coming out on the market. New brand products, uh, new wheels, new body kits for any car imaginable. Like This is probably going to be one of the craziest car events I've ever attended. And the fact that it's in the homeland, really looking forward to 2019. It's just, I feel like this is our year, you know? And with that being said, guys, let us start this year off strong and just, just keep it up, you know? Everyone's given the same time throughout the day. It's just what you decide to do with that time in your life. And I feel like if you become a better time manager, then everything else falls into place. And of course, while we're in Japan, we're gonna be doing all the Japan touristy stuff. So I plan on hitting up J World for all of the anime stuff, um, going to the Odaiba Diver City to finally see the Gundam. We're obviously gonna be hanging out with all of our Japanese friends, everyone that we made relationships with. Uh, last year, or has it already been two years? We're hanging out with Drift Hunter Albo, uh, Yuki, K, Kino, a whole bunch of other people. The Illuminate guys are actually going to be heading down to Japan as well. So, for the most part, I think they're going to be staying with Kino and Simon, but me and a couple of our friends are going to be in Shinjuku just so that we can train it everywhere and we're a little closer to home. So, this is probably going to be the last video I make before heading out to Japan. I appreciate you guys for watching the video and for following me on this journey for, for however long you've been following me and subscribed to this channel for. And if you aren't subscribed and this is the first video you're watching from me, hopefully you, you like what you see and you kind of stick around. You don't necessarily have to subscribe, but I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Drop some good vibes in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao.